hi good morning everyone let's get started with our next training topic which is on solution manager overview okay in this particular training session i'll be giving an idea about what this product solution manager is and how it is related with sap basis okay, basically solution manager is used mainly for monitoring the different components within sap landscape it is used for things like say solution updates you can download your software from sap marketplace using solution manager it is used for software logistics as well basically you can use this as a cts plus and trans uh, and used as a central hub for managing your entire transports whether it is a ABAP, whether it is a Java or any other transports. Okay, the key component is the monitoring and system administration. So in monitoring and system administration, what it is used for is it is used mainly for the decentralized monitoring. That is you can monitor each and every system. You can configure alerts, things like CCMS can be configured. You can define your service level as well and you can do central system monitoring from this particular tool as well say for example in case if you have say 100 or few hundred sap servers in your landscape so what you want to do is you don't want to log in into each of these systems so you centrally manage this from one central location in case if you see any issues in those systems, you can directly log in from solution manager you can see from the solution manager dashboard that which systems is working which are not working and you can do the job scheduling as well using this tool you can do your entire system administration from this tool you can manage the data as well from this particular tool so this is one key aspect of solution manager then the one more key aspect is about the change management okay you can define change control from this particular tool you can integrate it with your uh, ITSM process say for example any changes if you want to initiate within your environment you can use it or you can do it using solution manager so one of the key term which is used is called charm which stands for change and request management using solution manager so any change which is initiated you can categorize those changes into say uh, admin changes for example you are making any changes which is not creating transport you can create things like a norm uh, making any configuration change which is creating a transport you, you may create a normal change depending on if it is a normal activity if it is an emergency activity you can create emergency changes so that is about the change management aspects within SAP solution manager okay next key thing that I want to touch about is the maintenance optimizer that is how you update your solutions okay so maintenance optimizer is mainly used to identify during an upgrade or during any patching what are the softwares dependencies you need or uh, what are the software components need to be applied in a particular SAP system say for example if you want to upgrade your ECC system okay so what you do is using solution manager you give the information that I want to upgrade my ECC system from say 7.0 to say uh, EH uh, say NetWeaver system from 7.0 to 7.3 your ERP system say for example it's EHP 4 you want to upgrade it to EHP 6 so what you do is you go to solution manager go to your maintenance optimizer select your solution and you define that what is your target that you want to go to say for example you want to go to EHP 6 so you select that part target and based on the software components within your system 
solution managers maintenance optimizer will give you a detailed information about what are the different components you need to install within your system and it will give you a, a stack file as well and automatically using that stack file you can upgrade your systems so that is one key benefit of using solution manager okay then you can do your incident tracking as well within solution manager that is you can use it as a service desk tool as well basically you can define and control the incidents from this particular tool okay you can do your problem analysis you can do your root cause analysis as well okay so this is about the admin part you can do template management as well basically in case if you are doing a global rollout say for example you are working in a sap company which has a global presence you create your template say for one country and you want to reuse it for other reasons so you can do template management using solution manager okay so these are some of the key processes within solution manager which is very important so i just wanted to give you guys that how this particular tool works and what you need to do to manage this tool so here in this particular system you can see this is your solution manager i am connecting to the solution manager and one key component using which you do all your administration is solman underscore work center this is your solution manager work center okay the work center why it is called as work center is basically different works that you want to do you have one work center for each of those work say for example i ex i had gone through things like say change management things like upgrades things like incident management okay monitoring so here you can see root cause analysis this is your end to end monitoring you can do from here okay if i just click on this particular tab here you can see that i can do my end to end analysis i can do the host analysis i can do system analysis uh, we can do the database analysis from this so these are the different things which can be done using root cause analysis so say for example analysis you can see these are the different components that is used in this particular ana analysis you can use say introscope wiley introscope you can use java's thread dump analysis so basically you can do your end to end analysis using this particular interface okay so as we have gone through the incident management okay so incident management here you can create your incidents you can uh define the service desk functionality from here you can exchange tickets from this tool to uh to the different users or to the from the different systems okay so that is about the incident management then we see something called change management okay change management one key component that we covered is the maintenance optimizer so maintenance optimizer we just saw that this particular feature is used for upgrading or patching the different landscape components okay so if i click here in the maintenance optimizer it will give me an overview of uh what it takes how this particular tool works is say for example i say i want to generate a new solution okay i want to uh, my requirement is that i want to do some patching just click on new and it will give you the information about different systems that is there and how you can upgrade or apply the patches okay so let's go to the next thing is about the solution manager administration okay in this thing you can see things like landscape you can manage your landscape from here you can manage different solutions from here okay solution what is a solution in solution manager is see let me click on this to show you guys what it is basically say for example your ecc environment you create one solution for that so that all your development system your quality systems your testing system your production systems you can group in group them in one particular solution and you can manage or define your operational setup using this particular system say for example i want to set up early watch report i want to do service level reporting system monitoring business process monitoring so all this can be defined and configured here 
Okay, so that is about this particular comp feature in change uh, in solution manager administration. Okay, so let's go to the next feature within this. Say uh, that is the next uh, work center in solution manager. Say so let's say technical administration. Okay, technical administration is like you are doing your say MDM administration or work mode administration that is you are managing your downtime stuff from here. Ok, then let us go to the one main component which is technical monitoring. Ok, so depending on say for example, here it is a system monitoring, you can manage your system say for example, system, database, host, all the stuff. You can do connection monitoring, you can do BI monitoring that is business objects or web services or business objects monitoring, PI monitoring basically you can monitor your different channels from here. Then, so these are basically this shows that what other things can be done from this particular work center which is technical monitoring. Okay, so, let us go to the other components that we have not yet touched especially things like SAP engagement and service delivery. Okay, let us go to this component. Okay, here basically you can exchange ticket directly from SAP using this interface. Okay, so that is about uh, this particular feature in solution manager that is work centers within solution manager. All right. So, let us go to one more feature within solution manager is Solman underscore setup. So, what this uh, feature is basically if suppose you have a new solution manager environment and you need to configure it to integrate or maintain or basically you want to set up your managed systems. So, you just click on this tab and it will show you okay, which are the managed systems you want to connect to and you can connect using this solution manager. Say for example, if you are doing your initial configuration, you can define how you want to connect to the marketplace and say let me show you how the preparation stuff works. Okay, you can see it's system preparation, it will create a different. Uh, okay, so, here you are doing a preparation activity. So, if I just click on system preparation, it will sh give a flow of what activities are involved in system preparation. Okay, so, I have just click on system preparation, you can see that this is coming up. Okay, so, activities like green says that this has been executed successfully. Okay, at the top, here you can see it will show you the workflow basically. I just wanted to show you guys the workflow. So, this being little bit slow, the workflow is still coming. Okay, so, I just clicked on the next tab, but we will see the entire workflow. So, here you can see you can create users, you can check your installation, implement node, configure the BAP, configure this. Okay, so that is about the first step that is system preparation. Next step is basic configuration. Okay, so, here you do your basic configuration like you can create a solution for the solution manager itself, you can define the different connectivity, you can define the different landscapes, okay, you, you can define things like uh, BW system information, okay. then the major thing is the managed system configuration. So, managed systems are the systems which you want to monitor from this environment or you want to manage from this environment. So, that is where we you do the man managed system configuration. You can just click on any of the system. Okay, so, once you click the configure tab will come. Okay, so, while configuring it we can just click on configure system and we can get started from there. Okay, so, let us say for example, I want to configure this system. Okay, so, I will just click on configure system and it will take me through the steps for configuring this environment. 
okay so here you can see at the top the workflow is showing that okay these are the activities which need to be configured all right so let's go to the next activity which is uh, on something called lmdb so lmdb is basically this is the keyword for this is it's called a technical editor you can define your new systems here okay you can query the existing systems from here okay you can create a system you can define these are the different types of systems if you just click here it will show that these are the different type of systems which can be defined through this particular technical editor that is lmdb okay so most of the time it is an abap system it could be a java system it could be uh, any other system of these types okay you can see so for hana there is a separate hana db is there okay it could be a diagnostic agent so depending on the type of system you create an entry here say let's say for example that what we saw is we want to uh, check for this system say this is the system that i want to check okay i will just type the name of that system okay here you can see okay these are the systems click on maintain and you can make changes in this system parameters using this tool so okay so here you in this interface you can see that you can define all this stuff from here okay system information software component and all that can be defined from here okay next thing is you can see it's resync from sld tab is there basically you can pull the data directly from sld in this interface so that is one key benefit or key feature that is you populate your sld and once the information is there in the sld you can just sync it from sld so the information comes to solution managers lmdb now the next thing is key thing that i wanted to show you guys is about the smsy that is solution managers system landscape okay so here we can define different systems we can define different products we can define technical systems Okay, so in this tab you you can see at the top you have landscape components that is type of the system it could be a server it could be database it could be product system product system like you have different products like you are running ERP you are running SCM you are running solution manager or process control so these are the different types of product okay then you have something called system groups and logical components okay so logical component is like you are grouping them logically in the logical manner so that is about the logical components okay say for example if i click here here you can see that okay these are the different logical components so you can just right click and create your own logical component say create a new logical component so it will create a new logical component for you okay so this is one key feature key and important feature and move starting from 7.1 sp5 onwards this can be done automatically using the lmdb interface itself you don't have to come here here it's everything is automated you do you may not be able to make any changes here okay so next key thing that i wanted to show you guys is something called lv SM that is landscape verification for solution manager so in landscape verification for solution manager you basically review okay what are required from the landscape perspective whether your landscape is in sync or not whether there is any inconsistency in the landscape so that is what is reviewed in this here you can see that okay this landscape has these many uh, errors these many warnings these many systems so different system landscape are reflected here okay so you can see which landscapes which environment which system so all that can be defined and set up from here so that is about the landscape verification tool 
okay so let's go to the next important component that I wanted to show you guys is SLD administration okay so this tool you can see RZ70 is for SLD administration so SLD administration means that the SLD is kind of a database we are you are capturing all the information about the different components within your system so you can transfer your systems information using RZ70 and just click on this watch okay so it will push the data from solutions from any system any SAP ABAP based system into solution manager and the SLD will be populated okay now let me show you how the SLD looks like so the way we can go to the SLD system is okay we just need to type the system name colon the port at which the SLD is running and slash SLD okay so let me show you guys how this particular SLD looks like okay so here you can see I am giving the port number slash SLD okay so the SLD interface is coming up it is asking me for the username and password information okay so this is one of the standard users which is recommended to be created during uh, solution manager installation okay so now in this particular tab here you can see that this interface you can have you will see your technical systems you can see your landscapes you can see your business systems business systems is one of the mandatory requirement for your say XI related uh, activity then you can see the different products software components name reservation so let's see something called technical systems okay in this interface you can search based on type of the system you can search okay ABAP system Java system standalone system exchange okay so if you go to that system it will show you the information about uh, the different components in, in that system so the moment I select ABAP it will show me all the ABAP systems I can just select one of the ABAP system and it will show me this interface where it shows okay things like it will tell me the database the clients the message server port application server ITS install products business system so it will tell me all that information and this information is populated in the SLD for the ABAP system using the T code that we saw is the RZ70 okay it's RZ70 so this information is automatically populated within the SLD here you can see that it is showing which is the main component what are the different versions of software components that is available in this okay so that is pretty much I want to touch base on solution manager okay thanks for joining and have a nice day bye bye